Today we'll be reviewing part number 40202. This is the draw type ball mount rated at 10,000 pounds. It is designed to fit a two inch by two inch trailer hitch receiver. You can see here on the back side, it's a hollow shank. When choosing a hitch ball, you wanna make sure that the shank of the hitch ball does not exceed the ball hole diameter. For this particular mount, it's gonna give us a ball hole diameter of an inch and a quarter. If we take a measurement from the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of the ball hole, that's gonna give us a measurement of 11 and one quarter of an inch, and the overall length measuring from edge to edge is gonna be 15 and a half inches. When installed in the drop position, it's gonna provide a four inch drop measuring from the ball platform to the inside top edge of the receiver tube of the hitch. When installed in the rise position, and doing that same measurement, it's gonna give us a rise of two and three quarters of an inch. This is rated for up to 10,000 pounds of gross towing weight and 1,000 pounds of maximum tongue weight. It's made from a steel construction with a black powder coated finish on it, so it is gonna stand up well against rust and corrosion. This portion here is gonna be the portion that slides into our hitch. We're gonna push it in until we get our pinholes to line up, and then we'll need to install a hitch pin and clip or a hitch pin and lock. Those are gonna be sold separately. You can refer to our website, type in part number PC3, and it's gonna refer you to a 5 8 inch pin that comes with a clip. The distance from the center of the hitch pinhole to the back of the shank is gonna measure three inches. When used in the rise position, the distance that we have from the center of the hitch pinhole to the back of the support bar, it's gonna give us a measurement of five and a half inches. That measurement is important to keep in mind because you wanna make sure you have enough distance from the rearmost part of your vehicle to the back of that bar. So you don't want those to make contact with one another. The install is really easy. You're just gonna take the ball mount and place it into the receiver tube of your hitch. You're gonna slide it in until you get your pinholes to line up with one another. And then you'll need to insert your hitch pin and clip or your hitch pin and lock. Again, those are gonna be sold separately. I'm using part number PC3, just a 5 8 inch pin that comes with a clip. That's gonna do it for our review of part number 40202. This is the draw tight ball mount rated at 10,000 pounds.